The question is not, will you sauce those hand-breaded fingers? The question is, can you get extra napkins? Endless sauce abilities, only at Zaxby's. We'll pay your sales tax on any Mermaid brand mattresses. A classic childhood storybook comes to life this weekend and next at the Colonnade, talking about Cinderella. Who doesn't love Cinderella? Taylor Williams and Vivian Long certainly are in love, literally, on the stage. Uh, but with Cinderella, Taylor is Prince Charming. Vivian, as you can guess, is Cinderella. So good to have you both on the show this morning. Thank you very much. So Thanks. you were, I was asking you, Vivian, has your resume gotten to the point where it's so long it's on page 10 uh, or on page 2? And she said to me, oh no this is just my 10th show that's yes. quite a number of shows very much so i feel like i kind of got a late start into musical theater but the love has always been there and ironically enough and you know serendipitously cinderella was one of the shows that got me into musical theater really so, so sometimes when you go to see a classic like this the audience can be a little bit i don't want to say disappointed but a, but surprised because the storyline might not follow the bedtime story or the movie. In this particular case, is it pretty close to the plot? Very much so. It's very close, probably as close as you can get to the traditional fairy tale. It's the Rodgers and Hammerstein version, so it's a little different than the Disney animated movie, but you know, it still has all of the classic elements with the fairy godmother and the pumpkins and the glass slippers and, you know, uh, all of the transformation, all the magic. Yeah. So Taylor, I want to bring you in because mm -hmm. how fun this must be for you. You are now the dad of a pretty new daughter. Yeah. She's just 10 months old, you said. Yep. Um, and so how fun is it for you to be Prince Charming and you're about to begin reading her these very same bedtime stories? <laughs> oh, it's, it's just so much fun. And it's a role that I've wanted to play for a while and even more so now that I have a, a daughter that I can basically call my princess. <laughs> <laughs> so, so talk a little bit about the show. Jennifer Williams is directing it, which whenever you hear that next to a show name, everyone knows it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. um, and she tends to like Taylor to find performances where she can have a full orchestra. So you have that with this show. Yeah. Yeah. It's just something about a full orchestra compared to like tracks. You really just can't beat an orchestra. So um, you've been in rehearsal how long? Ooh. Was Since, it, it was like oh, what was it? Mid-August? Yes. I think. Okay, yeah. so stop and think about that for a minute. Opening night is September 23rd. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is not a long time to get a cast of, what is it, about 30? Yeah, yeah. Is that about right? 30 people. Is this pretty much an adult cast, or do you have a number of children involved? There's a couple children. I think we have, is it five or six in the youth ensemble? Yeah. So that's a decent number, mm -hmm. because everybody has to bring their best to the stage, yeah. night after night, mm -hmm. um, to, to learn all the choreography, the music, all of it, and then to gel the chemistry in essentially five weeks, that's not an easy task. No? No. <laughs> I mean, we have so many wonderful people that have done countless shows, and you know, this is number 50 plus on their resume. Yeah. And then we have several people that this is their very first show, and yeah. they're doing a wonderful job. Kristen, our queen, is absolutely amazing mm -hmm. and uh, so many other people I'm so incredibly proud of watching them you know commit to this very fast-paced process yeah. and they're crushing it. So you want people to come and have it be an experience so they can come on a date night if they want or to bring their grandchildren if oh, they yes. choose. So you're doing something special it's a two weekend run but Taylor on the Saturday the second Saturday performance mm -hmm. y'all are doing something fun for the kids. Yeah on Saturday October 1st so yeah next Saturday uh, we actually added a an extra performance of the show at 1 30 p.m. Uh, so that'll be an afternoon matinee. Um, and before that, at 11.30 that morning, uh, we are actually doing a princess tea party. So uh, you can bring your little girl along or whomever you want to bring, and you can have tea with Cinderella. And the prince I hear is supposed to show up. And a couple of her other uh, princess friends are supposed to stop by as oh, well. Oh, how fun. Yeah. Okay, so when you're putting on a show like this, beyond the actors on the stage. It is a full experience for the audience. So the music has to be right. The sets have to be great. And the costuming can make or break it. So are you mm -hmm. in love with your costumes? Oh my goodness, yes. We have been working very, very hard, especially LeBronda, our costume designer. She has created 
such a wonderful world of color and texture and life and magic in these costumes. And, um, you know, we've also worked very hard to keep the uh, dress, Cinderella's iconic mm -hmm. ball gown, uh, a little secret surprise for our opening night audience. Fun. So. Okay, uh, Taylor, you um, are actually, you also work at the mm -hmm. Colonnade, so I'm guessing you get this question quite a bit, not quite a minute left. People always want to know, what's a good seat? Isn't the Colonnade designed so that every seat has a great view of the stage? Yes, the theater was actually designed by a sound engineer. So that as far as having a seat for the best sound, um, every seat is gonna, is gonna sound great. And there are some seats that are a little bit better than others, but you still do have a great view of the stage from all of the seats. Okay. Um, and the pricing of those seats range anywhere from $13 for the side sections to 15 in the back of the center and 17 kind of down front. <laughs> I'm so glad that you mentioned the pricing then because that's a very affordable outing for mm -hmm. people uh, to come and have your, to give your kids a chance to be exposed to art that yeah. is really top notch here in Chattanooga. So break a leg. Thank you. Thank is that you. okay to say? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so September 23rd is opening night. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have three chances to see the show this weekend, four chances the next weekend. Yeah. KatusaColonnade.com and that's where you can get tickets and find out about the tea. Thank yep. you both. Thank you. Thank you. More local stories from across the Tennessee Valley. Local 3 News. Coverage you can count on. If you think you can't afford a lawyer, think again.